You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your bold and the beautiful two-week spoilers. These are the ones that run from Monday, September 25th, all the way through Friday, October 6th. And we've got dated spoilers for every day of next week, including corrected dates on some of the ones I handed out on the weekly spoilers. I said when I read it that I felt like they had the wrong dates on them, but that's how they were initially released. And now... I've got the full roster because at first I also didn't have spoilers for Thursday and Friday. So week one is new info, even for you guys that listen to my weekly spoilers edition, because now I've got the full roster from CBS and then I've got your week two spoilers too. So I'm pretty excited to dig in. I think this is going to be a good week, depending on what characters that you like to see on the show, because there are two familiar faces back. All right, I'm going to dig into all of these, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our bold updates. All right, so Monday, September 25th, we've got more scenes with Judge Evan Scott. We learned on Friday the reason that Sheila got off on all those criminal charges. Judge Scott is a old friend of Deacon's, a good friend of Deacon's, so good, in fact, that he let a psycho go. And what was, what kind of frustrates me about this spoiler to some extent is the reasons that the judge gave for dropping the charges against Sheila seemed legitimate. They seemed to actually follow the letter of real life law. So I just want to clarify that real quick. It wasn't that Sheila didn't kill Lance. She did kill Lance. It was how they got her confession. The way that they are allowed to surveil you is they have to have a warrant. And just because the FBI was involved doesn't mean that warrant was legit because, you know, law enforcement gets bad warrants all the time. They they use undue things. They use false reasoning. I'm not saying that all warrants are bad, but in some cases they are tossed out in court. So basically to get a warrant, you have to suspect someone of a specific crime and you lay that out in the request for the warrant. And then the judge decides if they're going to let you have it with Sheila And probably the FBI had a warrant to set up their surveillance in Bill's house, I guess. But they didn't have a specific crime. They were fishing for info on an unnamed crime. That was actually the problem. So it's kind of interesting that the legal reasons he dropped the charges are sound, but he clearly did it as a favor to his old friend. And they're going to have more scenes on Monday with them continuing to talk about this. And we had the spoiler for this week about somebody eavesdropping, finding out a huge secret. Well, we saw that on Friday, too, even though that's an undated spoiler for the week of the 25th. And that is Sheila sitting in her sunglasses and hat at Il Giardino and listening to Deacon and the judge talk and realizing, oh, wow, look at what daddy did for me. And just as a side note, I just am so icked out by her calling him daddy. I don't know why. I don't know if it's bothering you guys too. Let me know in the comments if it is, but it just kind of, it freaks me out a little. It's just, ugh. Anyway, so Hope Logan also is deeply touched on Monday by Thomas Forster's devotion to her. They just had that romantic dinner of pizza and french fries set up by chef douglas and now they are having some romantic time on the sofa maybe they'll be heading upstairs too we'll find out more all right tuesday september 26th carter has a bombshell to drop on ridge forrester and it is his assessment as COO about how Eric's legacy line is going to impact Forrester Creations as a whole. And I'm sure this is going to give Ridge more ammunition to try and shut down his dad. I'm guessing that it's not a good impact. I'm guessing it's going to be bad. So we'll see. Meanwhile, Liam Spencer is back and Finn has FaceTime with him. And Finn tells Liam, butt out of my marriage. Stop interfering. So 
I don't know if this is just Finn reiterating what he was already saying or if Liam has done something new to rub Finn the wrong way and set up this convo. All right, Wednesday, September 27th, this is when Taylor Hayes is back. The first time the spoilers came out, they said Monday, which I thought was weird because when I heard her comeback spoilers, it was 27, 28, 29th, but then the spoilers came out dated weird. And now we have it all sorted. So Taylor is back on Wednesday and she spends time with Finn and she is giving some advice to him about how to save his marriage to Steffi. Meanwhile, also midweek, RJ is torn between Eric and Ridge. As we suspected, as we've been saying here on the channel, I did a standalone video about it. Sure enough, Eric doesn't simply have arthritis. Confirmed spoilers, there is a larger medical issue at work. It was confirmed in the Soap magazine. We've been speculating it about it for a couple of weeks here with you guys. So at any rate, Thursday, September 28th, Ridge and Brooke are taken aback. They're surprised. What are they surprised by? Taylor being back in LA, I'm sure that they were thinking she was going to stay gone, stay in Europe with Steffi, and I'm sure Brooke was breathing a sigh of relief over that. But Taylor is back and she has some opinions to share. Also, Deacon makes a huge decision on Thursday that'll alter the course of his life. I feel like this is them getting closer to that secret engagement that we were teased in false spoilers. Friday, September 29th, it's Taylor's turn to be completely shocked because she finds out that Hope and Thomas are sleeping together and she takes swift action. I I don't know if she's going to hear about this from Ridge or Brooke. What I really hope is that she doesn't pull a Brooke. Can you imagine how awkward it would be if Taylor shows up at Thomas's new house and walks around the house going, Thomas, Thomas, and walks into his bedroom like Brooke did? I mean, that would have some sort of twisted symmetry to it if his mom walked in on them after her mom has already done it a couple of times. So we'll wait and see. Maybe Thomas will just have a conversation and tell her himself. I don't know, but I think it'd be pretty funny if she walked into the bedroom on them, but we'll see. All right. The week of October 2nd through 6th, we have got someone proposing marriage in the heat of the moment. And this ties back to, I believe, the false spoiler of a secret engagement. Some people in the comments here have suggested, oh, maybe it's Katie and Carter. Okay. I think, I mean, Carter has a habit of proposing to women a lot. <laughs> It's not that I don't think that Carter could propose to Katie. It's that I don't see that they would keep it secret. They would have absolutely no reason to keep it secret. Similarly, someone mentioned in the comments, maybe it's Brook and Ridge and they're keeping, you know, an engagement secret. I, I think a lot of people already know. Everybody knows they're back together. She is working on designing her own wedding gown. Everybody knows they're re-engaged. Even Taylor knows, you know, all the dusty destiny has been pulled out. And so... I really think that there's only two couples that it could be with someone proposing marriage in the heat of the moment, resulting in a secret engagement. That is one, Deacon and Sheila. Remember, Deacon was basically like, I'm risking everything to be with you. I can't do it. And she's like, okay, daddy. And she packs her stuff and goes. But then she heard what Deacon did for her. And he's the reason she's out of jail. I don't think there's any way that Sheila is not going to go knocking on his door again and show him just how much she appreciates what he did. And I think he's going to not be able to deny his deep feelings for her because he's just taking risk after risk after risk where she's concerned. They are some sort of twisted soulmates. The second person that could propose in the heat of the moment could be Thomas to Hope, but I don't think it's them. And here's why. Hope keeps telling him she doesn't love him and is making clear it's just physical. And his attitude is, I love you and I'm willing to wait to see if you love me. I don't think he would ask Hope to marry him just because I think he knows she's not ready. That's what I think. And I think he doesn't want to scare her off. So I'm back to thinking 
that it's it's Deacon and Sheila. But we'll see, and we'll see the week of October 2nd. All right, we've got two other big spoilers for that week, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe, so you don't miss any of our bold updates. Definitely drop your comments on what you're excited to see over these two weeks of episodes, and click a like if you're enjoying this. I appreciate getting those thumbs up from you guys. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job, which I hope you think I am. All right, so also the week of October 2nd through 6th, Eric Forrester has to face what's ahead for him. And I wonder if that means we're going to learn more about whatever this mystery medical malady is that is causing these hand tremors. Plus, we know that Taylor is back for the week of October 2nd again for at least one episode. I think maybe not more than one, but we'll see. That's just what the network said. Three episodes the last three days of September and one in early October. So maybe there's, I mean, hopefully there's more ahead, but we'll see. So this one's interesting. Taylor fights with Brooke about Thomas and Hope. So I know that Taylor is obviously concerned that Thomas might be on a slippery slope back to obsession and mental health issues. But if Thomas really loves Hope, which, you know, he thinks he does, I think Taylor might actually advocate for them. Or maybe she doesn't really want them together, but she's not going to be someone who tells her son, you can't be with this person the way Brooke is telling Hope that she can't be with who she wants to be with. So Taylor could be fighting with Brooke just simply over Brooke's hatred for Thomas and suspicions that he is somehow tricking her into staying with him. I don't know. Maybe he's got some deep-seated dick tricks that we don't know about. <laughs> he seems to, the way that Hope's acting all the time. I don't know. But uh, at any rate, they are going to have an argument, and I'm, I'm kind of there for it. And then I think Taylor's going to go back and be with Steffi. And, you know, we'll let you know when we have more spoilers for Taylor coming back. But I think the week of October 2nd will be the last we see of her for at least a few weeks. But we'll wait and see. Hey, guys, thank you so much for tuning in for these two-week bold spoilers. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.